This program is brought to you by Emory University. Uh, my name is Maria Piva. I'm a third year law student here at Emory Law School. And I worked with Professor Blank at the International Humanitarian Law Clinic my fall semester of my third year. I worked with the Law and Security Program uh, at the organization Human Rights First, and I worked directly with the director of the International Legal Department. So my assignment was actually very interesting. It required a lot of um, creative thinking, I guess, because um, the director and Professor Blank wanted me to explore an area of international law that hasn't really been developed so much. So I guess the main question that I, was, um, that I had guiding my research was, outside of the law of armed conflict, when human rights is governing, um, is there a responsibility for the United States when acting in self-defense to capture and detain the threat as opposed to resorting to le lethal force? Um, and then once that question was relatively answered, there are plenty of um, derivative questions like what would the system of detention look like? How long can they be detained? Do they have to be prosecuted? Um, and a lot of questions that are very relevant today. I definitely, I've always had a very strong interest in human rights and the clinic gave me an opportunity to find where human rights and international humanitarian law intersect. Um, and it, that was, that was it, I had never explored international humanitarian law, so it was a very interesting, um, a very, I made very interesting discoveries and I learned a lot about the law. I learned a lot about myself and I learned a lot how, uh, about how to um, kind of map out law that hasn't been mapped out before. I came to law school with the idea that I would do international human rights law. It's work that, that you, don't necess you get a grade for, but it's, you don't do the work for a grade. Um, the project that I was working on was going to be used to try to promote a certain policy um, with a human rights perspective in mind. So it's real work that goes to a real purpose. And when you're doing work that has to do with international humanitarian law and human rights, it's very important work. Um, and the, the memo that I used was used as a, that I drafted, I apologize, was used as a base to uh, draft policy and inform policy writers on, on relevant issues that should be addressed um, today.